Hello and welcome. So Michael here and let's do a tap together on feelings of fear or resistance about making videos. So I often hear this from students, clients, people starting their business that they just got so much resistance about making videos, putting things out there in the world. And so you know, it stops them from expanding, it stops them from running their own business. It stops them from reaching people that could really use their help. So this tap is going to help eliminate some of that fear, some of that resistance. Now I'll also add that 99% of people struggle with making videos at the start, right? And with that said, most of your first few videos or for a while, are probably going to be pretty crappy. So that's okay. So don't think that that's only unique to you. Actually, everybody experiences that. It's like a skill like touch typing or something like that or cooking. It takes a few times to get better at it, to fine tune it, to study it, to clean your words up, to feel more comfortable with it. So there's kind of a growing pain period when you're learning this skill, right? So I just wanted to mention that because we all go through it. It's all quite difficult at the beginning, but if you stick with it, keep tapping, you'll be good in no time, okay? And I want you to put your stuff out there because people probably need the help and also, you know, if we keep holding back, we're just limiting our own potential, our own capacity. So let's do a tap to help clear some of that fear so you can move forward, get going with these projects. Okay, so <laughs> let's begin. So the first thing I want you to do is, is when you think about recording a video, you'll probably notice that you get some anxiety straight away. Maybe the mind comes up with, it looks terrible, people won't like it, I'll get criticized, I'm too nervous, all these things, right? So it could be anything. So. As best as you can, can you allow yourself to feel terrified, to feel the fear, to feel the criticism in this moment as best as you can? And I'm going to show you what to do with it. But we've got to bring it up first. We've got to pull up the weed so we can clear it. So close the eyes if that's more helpful. And see if you can welcome the feeling of resistance, fear, terror. And notice where you feel it most in the body, in the chest, the belly. And give it a number from 1 to 10 now. So 10 is maximum stress. Zero is nothing. So give this feeling a number. And generally, the higher the better. <laughs> Good. Now tap on the side of the hands and repeat these words if it feels okay for you. Take a breath. All this fear, all this terror, I really don't like it, I don't like videos, I don't like the way I look on videos, I don't like the way I sound on videos. I just hate everything about making videos. 
and that's okay. I accept the way that I feel, and it's safe now to take a breath. Good. Inside the eye. So all this terror, when I think about making videos, I just can't seem to relax. And my mind goes blank. And everyone can see it. Inside the eye. And if I put it on the internet, everyone will see what a nervous wreck I am. And it'd be so embarrassing. <laughs> and it just feels so uncomfortable. And so I'd rather just run away under the eye. Maybe I'll find another job where I don't have to make videos. Maybe I can avoid it for the rest of my life. Under the nose. I accept the way that I feel. And it's safe now to relax my body. And it's safe now to let this fear go. And it has all this tension in my chest and belly. Whenever I think about making videos, it's okay to feel this way. And it's safe now to let this tension go. Breath. Under the arm. So even though videos terrify me, that's okay. They probably terrify everybody at some time. So even though I feel terrified and I don't want to do it, that's okay. I'm open to the possibility of learning this skill. And I'm open to the possibility that it might actually be fun. On top of the head. I'm open to the possibility that it might actually be fun. And I'm allowing myself to take all the pressure off. I understand that my first videos probably won't be perfect. And that's okay. okay. I'm allowing myself to not be perfect. I don't have to be perfect. It feels good to not be perfect. <laughs> Another nose. So I'm allowing all this tension to leave my body right now. I'm allowing all this expectation and pressure to leave my body right now. And I'm open to learning a new skill. And I'm open to learning how to do this better every day. Under the 
And if people don't like it, that's okay. And if people do like it, that's okay too. I'm happy no matter what. Top of the head. So even if my videos aren't perfect, that's okay. Even if my words don't come out right, that's okay too. Even if I don't look perfect, that's okay too. I'm doing the best that I can. I'm learning new skills. And I'm willing to be imperfect in the process. Oh. <laughs> Another nose. I allow myself to do the best that I can. And every day I feel Karma, clearer, and more at ease. And I make the effort because I know I can help people. And therefore, it's not really about me in the end. It's about helping other people as best as I can. And so I'm releasing all this tension and all this self-obsession. I'm releasing it from my body, my mind, and my life. Under the arm, I'll just do a quick one to finish off. So any remaining fear in my body, top of the head, any remaining tension, on the eye, any remaining apprehension, side of the eye, any remaining resistance, Any remaining tension? Who knows? Around making videos. It's safe now to let that tension go. It's safe now to let all those feelings go. And I fully and deeply Love, accept, and forgive myself. And I'm doing the best that I can. Good. When you're ready, release the tap. Take a moment. Good. And then when you're ready, you want to revisit the original feeling. So when you think of making videos, see if you can turn it up inside, any stress or tension that's still there, and give it a number from 1 to 10 now to see if it's changed. 10 is maximum, 0, nothing. And if it's gone down a few, or down a lot, that's a really good sign. We're heading in the right direction. If it's gone up, which it sometimes can, just do another round. Usually it goes up and then comes down. So keep tapping, keep practicing. You're doing a good job. Just stay with it. Again, it's not about you. It's about them. It's about helping others with your skills, with your knowledge, with your wisdom. So keep practicing, keep tapping, and you'll be awesome in no time.